We welcome you back to CBS This Morning. An alarming situation is unfolding on the U.S.-Mexico border. More than 3,200 new unaccompanied children hoping to enter the U.S. are now in federal custody. That's according to Customs and Border Protection documents that were obtained by CBS News. Now, cross-border activity usually gets busier this time of the year, but this large number of younger detainees is particularly noteworthy. Maria Villarreal has been following this story from the very beginning and joins us with the latest. Maria, this is very, very troubling what we're seeing. Gail, it's exactly right. A former DHS official says the number of children currently in Border Patrol custody is the highest in the agency's history. Now, to put this in perspective, more than 1,500 new children arrived at the border in the first four days of March alone. Mr. Biden was vice president in 2014 when the U.S. saw a comparable surge of unaccompanied minors. Nearly 73,000 were taken into custody that year alone. That led to a network of government-supported shelters for minors like this one in Homestead, Florida, that has now reopened along with one in Carrizo Springs, Texas. We were with Jacqueline and her mother Miriam as they were reunited in Los Angeles yesterday. The 16-year-old crossed the Rio Grande River in South Texas alone and was quickly picked up by Border Patrol agents. Her mother has been in the U.S. for three years on a work permit, and the teen told us she was held in a government facility for three weeks with a lot of other children sleeping on the floor with a foil blanket. Now, families we spoke to say there is a perception right now that the Biden administration will be more lenient when it comes to children crossing into the U.S. compared to the Trump administration. And that it might have to do with policy 42, 42, that is, a health emergency rule that allows Border Patrol agents to quickly expel adults that illegally cross the border because of health concerns in a pandemic. But that is not being applied to minors right now. The recently opened shelters have been directed to increase bed space to pre-pandemic levels and prepare for the possibility of COVID cases inside those shelters. Anthony? All right, a growing problem down there, Maria. Thank you very much.